glad that you decided to become a subscriber. You need to be welcoming. You need to show people that you are genuinely interested in them. That they are not just a number. So in the first thing that you do is you say welcome. I'm glad that you can make it. Or you could say I am excited that you're here. It all depends on your personality because you need to put your personality into your video. You cannot pretend to be someone else or to be something that you're not because even though you may look like you're excited and you're happy, your face may not show it. So the best thing is to do is to be yourself and just say welcome and for me it's kind of like welcome thank you for checking out my channel and what I'm doing is I'm opening myself up and I'm putting my energy out there and I'm saying I'm welcoming you to my channel because whether people realize it or not being online is almost like having uh, a kind of I guess it's kind of like having a connection so you need to make that connection. You need to put your energy out there so that you make a connection with people who have just subscribed to your channel so they are interested in what you are showing them or what you're presenting to them okay so that is the first thing to do is to put yourself out there and welcome people to your channel and thank them for coming to take their time to visit your channel and I know you might think well why because a lot of the really big youtubers um, do different do do it different or you might think but then you need to put your own personality into it so that way you are being original you are being yourself, but yet you are still being unique. So that is the first thing. Back to the computer. Hello again. Second point. Mm -hmm. Ask a question that's relevant to your channel. For me, it's do you want to get on the fast track to success and learn how to build your channel using free applications learn how to build your online presence on all social media sites for free now remember when you're making your introductory channel trailer that it needs to be um, it needs to be quick and when you're making your your feature when you're making your feature video you need to expand on it a little bit more so when you're asking the question 
and you're answering the question because you're solving a problem. People look to different channels because they're interesting in they're interested in solving some kind of problem. There is something that they are looking for that they feel that they can find on your channel. So you need to ask the most relevant question to your channel. And for my channel, it is all about saving time, saving money, and being able to grow your online presence for free. On your channel, it depends on what you are doing on your channel. And that is something that is in another one of my videos. And I go into it more into detail into um, the hard questions. So pretty much what you have to do is you just have to figure out a question that is relevant to your channel, something that you can help somebody with, some, something that you can share your knowledge with somebody, something that you have that you are willing to share with somebody else in order to develop a psychological connection. Because most of the time, what we are doing is we are mostly in our subconscious. A, a lot of people would argue with me on that, and that's okay. But things appeal to us even though we don't realize that they do. And we make these connections all the time. Even when we don't realize we are making the connections. And you need to figure out a question that you can answer that makes a connection with your new subscriber so that they want to stay on your channel, they want to watch your videos, and they're interested in the information that you are putting out. So that is number two. Back to the laptop. Okay, so number three, you want to number three, you need to introduce yourself and tell people what value you can add to their business or life. Who am I? I'm just gonna make that bigger so that you can see it. So you introduce yourself and you tell people what value you can add to their business or their life. Who am I? I am Rochelle, the DIY affiliate. So that is my name. My brand is the DIY affiliate. And what can I do that will benefit them? I love sharing my knowledge and helping people. And this is where you really need to... I think this is where you really need to make the connection with people. When you are talking to someone and you are saying what can you do for me right that is what they're thinking what can you do for me so when i am speaking to someone and i am saying to them 
what benefit I can be for them, for their life or their business. I am saying people like you because I'm talking to you. I'm talking to the person who is watching. So get back to the computer. Oops. So what I say is I love sharing my knowledge and helping people like you Build your own blueprint of success for business or life goals. That is the first part. The second part is what is your background and experience on your channel? Because people are going to want to know what your background is and what your experience on your channel is because they're going to want to see if there is a connection. So with me, I am a I am a self-made marketing strategist and have many tips, tricks and secrets I give away all the time. See all this everything that you say needs to be true. I'm just making this larger. Everything that you say about yourself needs to be the truth. Okay, if we examine this, who am I? I am a self-made marketing strategist. Who are you on your channel? And what can I offer people? I have many tips, tricks, and secrets that I give away all the time. Okay, so this is what you are saying in your introductory channel. However, in your feature video, you are going to expand on that. You are going to expand on what you are saying. Just note it. So that is number three. Number four is you, after you expand on what you are, are saying to, uh, what you are saying in your statement, I am a self-made marketing strategist. I have many tips, tricks, and secrets I give away all the time. And then I would expand on that. And the best way to do it is to type it out. I am not going to type everything out right now, but you just expand on your statement. Number four is you tell them what to expect from your channel. Now, remember, we are following the script to your introductory channel trailer. And the reason we are following this script is because you are expanding on everything that you said in your introductory trail, uh, introductory channel trailer. So you need to be able to have this information in front of you. So you tell them what to expect. Now you can show them some clips on which you can put overlays on, on your video. So now in order to keep them engaged, okay, so number four, when you tell them what to expect from your channel, you can show them some clips or parts of videos or different things that you did, but you also need to try to keep them engaged and they have to be entertained. So adding clips or if, if you listen to some of the other YouTubers and I do because that's how I have learned 
all of these tips, tricks, and secrets that I'm sharing with you is from other YouTubers and also by trial and error. So to keep people entertained, what do you do, right? Do you move your hands around or do you um, put your energy out there or do you have a prop? Or something, say I pick up my mouse and I say, oh, oh, look at this mouse, okay. I've now taken your attention away from whatever you're thinking of. If you're not focused on actually listening to the video, you become focused on this. So then all of a sudden, oh, look, there's a mouse. Oh, let's go back to the video. Okay. All right, so you want to try to keep them engaged and you want to try to make them understand of what they can expect. So basically what people can expect is building a greater online presence from me. What can they expect from you? And I encourage you to use this script here, change it, change the words, do whatever you um, you need to do, but just add, just use it as a template. Okay. So, for me, it is opening a whole new world of creation using content building apps, online tools that you can use with all your devices and of course you need to make it relevant to your channel okay for me for me what is relevant to my channel is not relevant to your channel okay so if you're using the script you need to change it and make it relevant to your channel and the next step is what are you passionate about? What are you passionate? What is it that you feel that you can do to add value to a person's life or business? What knowledge do you have? And I talk about this in the hard questions about how knowledge is power and power is knowledge. And you need to, uh, to put this information across so that people make that not emotional connection. Well, it is an emotional connection, but it's more of a, of a unconscious sort of subconscious connection with you. It's like an invisible little thread that's going out and all of a sudden, you know, someone's got it. And that is when you know that you have reached someone and you will have a, a subscriber who will be permanent. Because that is important. It's very important. You can go out and you can buy subscriptions. And I have done that. But what happens is YouTube will take that away from you because they don't feel that that is part of their algorithm. They, there's a lot of companies that are out there that do do it and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but it's not really part of the growth algorithm. algorithm. And that is what's important right, uh, right now and especially for YouTube. So, you need to put across what your passion is. Like for instance, my passion is helping people like you to be able to have the knowledge, to be able to not have to pay for the knowledge to grow your online presence. Because yes, you can grow your online presence with, and I, I talk about this in the hard questions uh, that I'm asking. 
but as part of the growth algorithm and I'm not just talking about YouTube algorithm because all of the social media sites have different algorithms to them. Facebook is different, Instagram is different, Twitter is different, Reddit is different, but pretty much it is all the same. So I'm just going to call it the online algorithm. And for people who don't know what an algorithm is and have probably heard this word and it is a it is one of the buzzwords algorithm algorithm is simply put just a set of rules or instructions that you use in order to arrive at a conclusion for instance 1 plus 1 equals 2 is an algorithm and if you are baking a cake, you need the, the ingredients. All the ingredients together are an algorithm to the finished product, which is the cake. So when people talk about an algorithm, that is what it is. And having the knowledge and knowing what the key elements are in the algorithm in order to have the type of growth that YouTube is looking for is very important. And that is why um, the first videos that you need to do is the introductory channel trailer video and then the feature video because this will help you to start to show the proper algorithm and growth that YouTube is looking for in order to promote your videos because let's face it if YouTube does not like your videos or your channel or something uh, about your business they are not going to promote you and 70% is YouTube promotions and it's always changing but basically 70% is YouTube promotion and 30% is organic traffic so this is all part of what you need to do in order to build your channel what I call us on a solid basis and the reason I say solid basis is because you need to build the foundation properly and firm and also there are other elements that I do talk about but um, right now we are talking about the featured video so let's get back to it so another really important oops So another really important feature, um, another key element that you, you really need is you need to tell people when they can expect you to post. And this is very important because when you are posting right, uh, on a regular basis, then people are seeing that your channel is constantly being updated and they are more interested in getting your content. Rather, if you are posting maybe once a week or once every two weeks or even once a, a month, you know, depending on what your content is. So, when you do, when you tell people when to, what they can expect and when you post, then you say as part of number six specifically what is it 
that you post. Okay. So specifically, what is it that you post? So you need to make sure when you answer this question about specifically what is it that you post that you are giving them the quickest, easiest to understand, mm -hmm. and most relevant answer. So I post step-by-step -step tutorial videos giving you the knowledge you need to save you time and money. So specifically, I have said, I am solving a problem because I am saving your time and your money. And I am showing you that what I post is something that you're interested in because it is for me it is a step-by-step -step tutorial for you it can be anything else it all depends on what your channel is okay and then basically check back every day for new up-to-date information now this is an important thing this may not be important to you but it is important to me, and it's up to you whether you want to add that or not. But I am thankful and grateful for all my subscribers. Now, and I put, and I give my knowledge freely because that is what I do. You can say whatever is relevant to your channel. So now, So now we come to the part where a person is going to be interested or they're not. But you as the presenter, you as having the belief in what you do and in your channel, need to assume that they are interested because if they watch the video, the, t the introductory channel trailer this far, then there is a level of interest. So, you know, basically you are saying, interested? Do you want to get started now? Or whatever is relevant to your channel? Now this is where we um, get, we, and I am a little leery about this part, but things have been changing with YouTube and um, it is important that when you're talking to somebody and they are interested and they are interested in subscribing to your channel that they need to be able to click the notification bell because if they do not click the notification bell the bell icon they will not be notified of all your new uploads that are coming out so that is a way to know whether somebody is interested or not, is that if they click the notification bell, then you know that they are getting your updates. If they don't, then you know that they are not getting your updates. And even if you're talking to the community or you're putting out a video, anything that you're doing, they do not get that information. So that is really important. Let's get back to the computer. So then the next thing that we do is we thank them for their time. This is important. One of the most important things is to thank somebody for their time because they have taken 
their time. And you just thank them for their time. You can add anything else you feel relevant. Thank you for your time. Looking forward for you to become a member of the DIY family and hanging out with you soon. That's me. You need to put your own personality in it. When you're thanking somebody and you want them to honestly feel that you mean it, you need to put your personality in it. So any way that you do it is going to be fine because it's you. So I hope this has been helpful. And there is another part. There is another part that I am going to be putting up. And that part is the processing. Everything that we've done so far has allowed us to... Okay, so that wraps up this video tutorial on actually doing the feature video and what to do. The next video coming out is going to be on processing your video. And we've already started it because we opened the Google Doc and we have all the information so the next video coming out is going to be actually processing your feature video so thank you for staying with me for this whole video and I hope you are excited about learning and gaining the knowledge that you need in order to, as I say, save you time and money. If you have any comments or if, if you have any comments, please leave me your comments. And also, if I notice that you subscribe to my channel, I will go and I will check your channel out. I will find a video that I like and subscribe to your channel to help you to grow. I also have a playlist in which I feature all of the channels that are growing on YouTube who are part of the DIY community. And I have a lot more that I would like to talk to you about. And I look forward to hanging out with you soon. And it didn't click off again. <laughs>